the biggest trick that the devil ever pulled was making you believe that life is real. Life starts when you realize that it isn't real. It's all an illusion. The demiurge, no, this AI demiurge, this this archon, this false god, whatever you want to call it, you know, it's creating a false reality for you to actually suffer. Some people will say, um, but there's good in the world. You want to know what is good in the world? Because you are creating it. Whatever is actually good in the world, you're the one who's actually creating it. This AI demiage wants you to suffer. But you don't want to suffer, so... You create something good in the world. So this reality itself, it wasn't created for you to thrive. It wasn't created for you to learn something. It was created for you to suffer so that this AI demiurge will get the energy that it needs from you. And this is really important to understand. So it was created for you to suffer so that this AI damage will get energy from you. Like it's it's not really conscious, like conscious, conscious, conscious. It's uh it operates the same way that AI operates. That's why I call it an AI damage. Right? It operates the same way that AI operates. So you're supposed to give it energy. So that um, it will continue to exist. Like it needs you. It needs you to be able to exist. You give it energy when you take life too seriously. And it wants you to take life too seriously. It doesn't want you to detach yourself. When things happen, it wants you to focus on these things. When bad things happen, it wants you to cry. It wants you to ask yourself, why is this happening to me? Why am I suffering? What have I done? It wants you to ask yourself those kind of questions so that it will get energy from you. It wants you to look at yourself as a victim, and you are. But once you start to realize that you are in a trap, and the reason why you have been suffering was... uh, because something wanted energy from you. It's not because of the mistakes that you've made. It's not because you didn't work hard enough. It's not because you're not a good person. It's not because you didn't know what to do. It's not because you were born in a um, wrong country. It's not because you were bullied. The real reason why you are suffering, the real reason why you have suffered is because something wanted energy from you. So you have to stop blaming yourself. Stop blaming yourself for the things that have happened in your life. You've been trying your whole life to make your life better. Haven't you been like trying? You've been trying to make your life better. You wanted your life to be better, but things just don't work out. No matter what you try to do, things that just don't work out the way that you want things to work out. So you suffer. But the truth is, None of it is your fault. Reality isn't real. And whatever is creating this reality for you doesn't want you to not take it seriously. So it will do whatever it can to 
make you take it serious like if things were working out so well for you it wouldn't be easy for you to take it to, to, to take life seriously right if things were working out how would you like take life seriously you just i mean it's just it would be like like when a person is high they don't take anything seriously so you'd feel the same way that, that a person who's high feels yeah a bit like there's not a problem there's nothing to stress about you don't have to think about tomorrow you don't have to think about next year you don't have to think about the past you don't even really need to think that much about the present moment it's like everything is cool i have nothing to think about i'm just going to enjoy the experience that's it but when you are suffering when you are uncertain you have to think about tomorrow uh, what am i going to eat tomorrow what if i lose my job tomorrow um what if um my boyfriend or girlfriend break up with me tomorrow how am i going to feel you know how am i going to do without them you know what i mean you, you have to be to constantly be worried because that's how uh, this ai god is getting energy from you you see you must worry you must stress where am i going to be next year Am I still going to be in the same place that I am now? I'm still going to be going through the same things that I'm going through now? Damn. It wants you to suffer. You're not suffering because of the mistakes that you've made. You're not suffering because you are a sinner. And the devil controls this world. I mean, yeah, the devil does control this world. But uh, it's not because you are a sinner and uh, God had beef with the devil and now he, uh, he's torturing his children. Oh, like, stop believing these background stories. There is no background story. Stop thinking, hey, hey, this is this has happened because this um was like this this has been happening. So because this has been happening, this is happening now. This was caused by that. Stop, stop focusing on the background stories. Forget the background stories. Realize that what you call reality is an illusion. Things will happen. What you are doing is you're creating background stories to justify what is happening to you. That's what you're doing. So things happen. Yeah, oh, yeah. The reason why this is happening is because that has happened. Nope. The reason why this is happening is because, well, I'm not good enough. Nope. The reason why this is happening is because I said this, I said that. Nope. There is no background story. Realize what reality really is. Realize why you're suffering. You do understand that you could have been born in a country where you know things like I mean things are not really that good in any country. But if you you live in a country where things do not really make sense, you could have been born in a country where you know things kind of make sense. Um, I remember three days back, I almost fell. I almost, um, like, fell inside. Yeah. <laughs> What's weird is that I felt like I was going to fall. It's amazing how I didn't fall. But I felt... You know, when you feel, it's, 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 it's almost as if my intuition told me that, hey, man, be careful because you're going to fall if you're not careful.
Well, my intuition was like, nah, be careful. Stop being scared. You don't need to be scared. Um, <laughs> you, you, you are more powerful than you could ever imagine. Here's the thing. For something to hurt you, you have to give it power. When something happens, for it to hurt you, you have to say, it is real. I accept what has happened as reality. I accept the background story. You've kind of like, you take, you kind of like take responsibility for reality. Instead of taking responsibility of how you respond, like it needs to get to a point where when reality doesn't make sense, you don't even give it your energy. Like you literally give it zero energy. Focus on what you are actually creating. See, it's not, it's not like you don't create. You do create. The, the only things that exist in this reality that are actually good are the things that you are creating. Things that you are willing into existence. The problem is that you are being manipulated into creating a reality that you do not like. Something knows how to make you manifest a reality that you do not want. It knows how you manifest. It, it made you forget how to manifest. So it's making you manifest a reality that you do not want. So it's not really manifesting reality. So it's not really creating reality. It's making you create reality. But it's so powerful because it knows a lot of things that you do not know. You are more powerful than it, but you don't know what you're supposed to know, right? So that's what's giving you power. You being naive, not knowing how reality really works. Not knowing how dreams really work. Like, why you dream, how to control your dream, all that. Like, that's, that's how this being has to keep you ignorant so that it will be able to control you so that it will be able to show you a reality that doesn't make sense and get energy from you that's 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 all that it's doing but you still have the will to manifest the things that you want in your life so you are still able to do that hell will be you will, will be this ai god finding a way to block all your manifestations, right? Like if this AI God found a way to, to just block everything that you are trying to manifest and only uh, made you m manifest what it wants you to manifest, that will be hell. I mean, this is still hell because you are trapped in a reality where you don't have that much power. But I'm talking about the kind of hell where you don't have power at all. Where you can't even manifest at all. Where you can't even make videos, right? Talking about what's happening. Where you can't even express yourself. So, there's levels. What you need to realize is that you are powerful and you are you've been you, you you are more powerful than you've ever thought you were the problem is that you don't know the truth that is the real problem the real reason why uh, the truth has been kept away from you is because if you knew the truth you'll be free because you are powerful you are powerful enough to be able to free yourself so you are supposed to be kept ignorant you're supposed to be focusing on nonsense so that you will remain ignorant so that this AI God will be able to manipulate you however it wants to manipulate you in order to get energy from you. So you must, you must reject this uh, reality. You must um, become a non-believer. Right? Become a non-believer. Stop taking it too seriously. Life actually starts 
once you stop taking reality seriously once you start realizing that oh no it isn't even real so i've been thinking this is real all along but it, it isn't that's when life actually starts that's when you actually have a chance because if you don't realize that it isn't real if this ai god becomes smarter it might actually find a way to make you manifest hell like the christian vision of hell like a place much worse than this place this is hell but you can manifest a place that is much worse than this heaven will be a place where you are manifesting more of what you want to see right like here in this reality maybe you are manifesting maybe 10 15 20 percent of what you actually want to see because you don't know how to properly manifest right because of this um ai god that is like making you manifest nonsense so uh, a hell that is worse like than this will be a hell where maybe you are manifesting like maybe three percent of what you want to see and this ai god was making you manifest like 97 percent of what it wants you to manifest so you must become conscious of how things actually work in this reality so that you will manifest more of what you want to see because you are that powerful it's just that uh, you have you have been so damn unconscious that this this ai god was actually playing you without you realizing that he was playing you it doesn't want you to become conscious it doesn't want you to see the truth so the biggest threat to this system is truth this is the biggest threat that's why this 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 system is against truth right this matrix is against truth this ai god is against truth you're not suffering 24 7 you're not experiencing the worst kind of suffering because of your will if you didn't have the will to experience what you want to experience you'll be suffering 24 7 literally experiencing the worst kind of suffering at 24 7 what this AI God is trying to do to you is make you give up your power it may, it's to make you a believer right to make make you believe um this reality is real make you believe the background stories that don't make sense it's not that good at creating background stories but it wants you to be stupid that's why this religion is talking about faith faith they want you to be stupid see you will manifest a reality that this AI God wants you to manifest once you start to believe in it like once you allow it to manipulate you like oh I'm gonna believe that Jesus died for me uh, uh, he Jesus is gonna save me like you literally giving away your power that is what you are actually doing you're giving your power to this AI God what's gonna happen is that it's gonna do whatever it wants with you think about it man. think about the people who believe in, in, in this in the stories in the bible think about them do they seem like they're free do they seem like um they're living their lives the way that they want to live their lives a person who's deeply religious if you say i'll take a sip of alcohol they wouldn't be able to not because they don't want to but because wow god god doesn't want me to, i'm not saying you should drink if you don't drink alcohol 
there's no need to drink <laughs> there's nothing that you're missing but um i'm i'm giving you this example because i know a lot of religious people who don't who don't know how to take control of their lives just do what they want to do you know they're not free because they believed in stories that do not make any sense right that's you giving your power away that's you uh believing in the story that was created for you by this ai god or that um this ai god made you manifest so that it will imprison you you start believing these stories i give my life to jesus someone comes to you and actually tell you the truth oh no no no, no. that's not the truth i give my life to you you know that's a prison but you don't see that it is a prison so really you need to become an unbeliever realize that this is not real every um you must be growing every year right like you must reach higher levels of consciousness every year you must be realizing what this actually is if you got stuck in a dream the longer you remain in that dream the more you start to realize oh yeah it is actually a dream your subconscious mind will give you clues sometimes these clues are going to be obvious but you're still going to look at them as clues i'm not talking about seeing numbers 11 11 and all that that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about actual like you do um like let me give you this example you're stuck in a dream you're not waking up from a dream and then uh one day in the dream you someone like comes with a movie with a movie called the matrix they play that movie for you you watch it that's your subconscious mind trying to wake your yourself wake you up yeah you don't know what your matrix and be like ah so it's possible that this could be a simulation right and then in, so someone tell you about the movie inception and you watch it and you're like ah oh, so it's possible that this reality could really be a, you know what i mean there will be clues there will be people like me who will tell you straight up that nah this ain't real but you're supposed to ask yourself a lot of questions like oh how does he know it's not real uh instead of like doing the work you must work on realizing what is actually going on look at your own life does it seem real does it seem random does it seem like things just happen when it gets too hot it rains bro the fact that it rains and after raining trees are gonna grow that should make you realize that none of this is random when things get tough in your life something good usually happens i've given you this simple example i said it's just that it doesn't happen like that anymore but uh, let me tell you what will happen when i was young i i didn't know how to kind of like control my feelings when i was young so it mean that if something bad happens i would i would i'll be i'll stress i'll be i'll be sad you know suffer a lot so yeah let's just say something bad happens and I suffer 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 and then what happens what will happen later that day something good will happen so something bad will happen and i suffer and then something good happens later it, it got to a point where i always anticipated something good when something bad happened just like when it gets too hot you know it's gonna rain so it's like say that's life you know what i mean the ai god got the energy that he wanted from you so why should you make he make you suffer if he make you suffer 24 7 you probably be like ah i'm done you know you'd be like nah this ain't it so you, you kind of like because you still have power so you kind of like you kind of like have to let it let, let, let it go so that's what that's when you will be able to manifest what you want you see so when the damage 
God is on your ass. It's hard to manifest what you want. But you still can. But it's hard. It's hard. But also, it, it doesn't work all the time. Because you also have power. So it can try to make you manifest nonsense. But you reject you reject that you reject the offer to manifest nonsense you gotta learn to say no man i've been in situations before where things happen that i knew if like, this is the nah no no no, no. Uh, this i'm not accepting this i'm not accepting this as truth i'm not accepting this as re reality and something would happen to change what has happened I've been in those kind of situations where I just didn't accept what has happened. Like, nah, magic will happen. Because I'm, I'm rejecting what has happened. Like, I've been in this situation so many times before where I literally rejected reality. And that's when the miracle will happen. So this AI God is gonna try his best to make you believe you are uh, powerless and uh, is in control of everything. He's not in control of everything. You need to wake up. You have been suffering a lot because you believe that the dream that you are having is actually real. You believe that the dream that you are having is actually real. Not only is it not real, it could never be real. <laughs> not only is it not real, it could never be real. You are a dreamer. You dream. It's just that the part of your subconscious responsible for uh, dreaming has been hijacked. So you ended up dreaming up nonsense. But you are a dreamer. That's, that's what you are. You are the creator of reality. This, this exists because of you. It could never exist without you. When you have a psychedelic experience... The gods that you meet and talk to, they exist because of you. When you have a dream, the characters that you interact with they exist because of you. Without you, they don't exist. They exist when you are interacting with them. And you need to be so conscious that you focus on what is happening in your life now. Other than the background stories or what's gonna happen in the future and all that, like focus on now because that is what you are experiencing. Focus on what you're experiencing at the time. Realize that none of it, like the background stories are not real, the past is not real. Um, even what is happening now isn't, but because it is happening right now, you focus on it other than the background stories, other than telling yourself that. This is happening because of what happened yesterday and all that. This is what's making you stress. That's you overthinking. You focus on now. Like a hundred percent. You focus on now. What is happening now? What am I seeing now? Who am I talking to now? How do I feel now? How do I make my experience better now? Like what can I do right now to have a better day? Now, like what can, what experience do I want to have now that is actually good, that I'll actually enjoy? Like you focus on now, like if your focus should be now, your focus shouldn't be uh, on, like on what other people are doing, what you think other people are doing, what you think other people are thinking, what you think other people are saying about you behind your back. Um, you focus on now. What is happening in your direct experience now? That's what you focus on.
you can beat this AI god, man, but you f must first realize that this is not real. The biggest mistake that you've made in your life is that you actually believe that this was real. This was the real reality. So when things happen, you, you stressed a lot about these things. Stressed a lot. Someone tells you that you're fat, you stress. Oh, they said I'm fat. Why, why would they say that I'm fat? Why would people chill? It's not real. The same person is going to tell you you're beautiful tomorrow if you realize what I'm telling you, all right? Like, it's not real. It's not, it's not real. Um, that is why people are not even that consistent. It's, it's, it's not real. It's, it's a dream. Look at it that way. Realize that there are no background stories. Uh, stop stressing yourself. Stop giving this reality power by stressing. Focus on what you are able to manifest. Enjoy what you are manifesting. But to reject, reject this reality, you need to keep on working on that. Because, like I said, it's a trap. You know, it's a trap. You know, what this reality will be like? Um, it will be like if Elon Musk, I always use Elon as an example. It's like if Elon Musk created a simulation and he told us that, hey, um, life seems to suck in the real world. Like, doesn't it suck? And, I mean, and it's going to it's gonna end. So I've created a simulation where you can uh, uh, be, you live in for much longer. This simulation is going to be controlled by AI. Now, this AI is good. Uh, it's going to make sure that it, it takes care of all your needs. You're going to be fine. You're going to enjoy. You believe, and you believe that. Enter the simulation. You forget everything. Forget that uh, you were manipulated into entering the simulation. You were sold a lie. You believe that lie and then boom. You suffer in that simulation and you believe that what you're experiencing is real. So you don't wake up. You are giving this simulation your energy because it wants your energy to survive. It needs you to believe that it's real to actually survive. So you never wake up. You, you continue to dream, you continue to dream, you continue to dream. Waking up is realizing that this is not real. Waking up isn't you stressing so much that you choose to, you know what I mean, to exit. No. Waking up is re you realizing that this is not real. And when things happen, you know, they, they won't really affect you. To a point that you you feel like you must, like, like to a point where that is not a choice. Like it's just you believing this reality so much that you just can't, you know what I mean? You just can't handle it. Like it's not a choice. You just believe this reality so much. You're just taking it too seriously. Um, your girlfriend cheated on you and <laughs> not you stressing. You're taking what happened seriously. So you're like, oh, well, I gotta, I can't, I can't, I can't stand this. I just gotta exit. Uh, nope. That's not a choice. You wouldn't be exiting because you chose to exit. You'll be exiting because you're trying to avoid suffering. But you're suffering because you believe that this is real. You understand what I'm telling you? What I'm saying to you is that it is not. You're just giving it power. I remember I gave you all this example before. I came across a video on TikTok uh, where a dog was watching Lion King. The scene where uh, Mufasa uh, was unalived by his brother. Yeah, the dog was watching that part and he you you could see that He's, he's emotional. 
he believes that that's real because well it it, it doesn't <laughs> have enough consciousness to realize that oh they're just acting that's just cgi um animations whatever it is but he, he's not conscious enough to realize that all of it is scripted I'm telling you, what I'm telling you is that you're not conscious enough to realize that all of this is scripted. You're not conscious enough to realize that this ain't real. This ain't what you thought it was. And because of that, you are suffering. Because of that, you are giving this reality your energy. You're basically saying... Make me suffer. To detach yourself, because people don't, don't even understand what I mean when I say you must detach yourself. I'm saying do not take it seriously. Do not take this seriously. And I'm not saying avoid everything. I'm not saying avoid pe people. I'm not saying don't try to have good experiences. Don't try to get what you desire. No, no, no. I'm saying realize that it isn't real. None of it is real. That's what you must realize. The problem is that you thought it was all real. So to truly detach yourself is to realize that none of this is real. It doesn't mean that you don't live life. I mean, you're still here. It doesn't mean that you must meditate 24-7. You know, that's, that's not you realizing that this isn't real. I want you all to get that. That is you suffering so much that you're like, uh, like believing that it's real, that you're like, I just have to avoid it. I just have to stay away from it. You know what I mean? So what I'm saying to you is that you don't stay away from it. You realize that it isn't real so that it doesn't affect you as much as it used to. That's all. You just got to realize that it isn't real so that it doesn't affect you as much as it used to affect you. If you are going to continue to believe that it is real, it is going to affect you. And you are going to be suffering. So I'm saying be conscious enough to realize that now none of this is real. Let me give you a trick that you can use to remind yourself that this isn't real. Design a wallpaper. With the caption... It's not real. And use it as a screensaver. I know you use your phone like all the time. So whenever you pick up your phone, you say, oh, it's not real. You're stressing about something, you pick up your phone, oh, it's not real. You're overthinking, you pick up your phone, oh, it's not real. You see, you have to constantly remind yourself that this is not real, otherwise you're going to forget. And when you forget... That's when the matrix gets is start getting energy, right? This AI thing isn't dumb, but it's just AI. <laughs> like nothing beats consciousness. I want you all to get that. Nothing beats consciousness. I, AI just has a lot of information than you, but um, you're conscious. You can, you can manipulate it like more than it can manipulate you. That's the thing. Like you can manipulate AI more than it can manipulate you. This reminds me of the series, the three body problem. Uh, this aliens. had technology that was like the four four hundred ahead of like us, right? The way ahead. And looking at how we are growing technologically they, they were scared of us. Like hey dang these things. So they had technology that allowed them to they wanted to colonize the planet. So the technology that allowed them to see what is going on and even, you know, manipulate some situations. Um, 
they were able to communicate with some people. So these beings couldn't lie. They, they, they didn't know how to lie. At all. They didn't even know that lying was possible. Like, to them, everything was what it, it seemed to be. Um, people said exactly what they mean. They could never lie. This is the thing. Like, that's what they believed. They believed that human beings could never lie. So they trusted us. They trusted us until one of their followers, because you know, some people created religion, because <laughs> believing that these, these beings are gods, you know. One of their followers one day um, made them aware that uh, the, there was something called lying. He was kind of like joking. But they asked him, what, what do you mean by lying? And he said, yeah, the person can say something that isn't true. Like, what? You know, like, oh, I'm not, I was not aware. We, we were not aware that that, that was possible. We, we were not aware that human beings can lie. So once they realized that human beings can lie, they stopped trusting them. And the humans who were fighting against uh, these aliens realized that, oh, they didn't know that we can lie. So it means that what we need to do is, is lie to them. Like, that's our superpower. So what I'm saying to you is that this AI thing is not as, 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 as intelligent as you are. It just knows too much. It doesn't know how to manipulate. You can literally manipulate it. The same way that human beings can manipulate nature, you know what I mean? Like you can, but you need to know that it's trying to play you. Like you need to, like you need to be that aware, you know. You need to know its tricks. How is it tricking you? How is it making you stress? You can, you can beat this reality. <laughs> I remember this. Uh, I had a conversation with my ex girlfriend the other day about. Um, beating God it's like ah. it's like I'm trying to beat God she's like nah you can't beat God because he knows everything blah, 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 blah. it was a fun conversation but I was like I think I can beat God because to escape this reality you have to beat God you understand you literally have to beat God because he's feeding you this uh, BS reality and you're accepting it as real and you are suffering a lot because you're accepting this BS reality as reality right instead of realizing that reality isn't reality it's just a just a dream you know so you beat this this AI God by being smart outsmarting it it knows a lot more than you do it knows what you are it knows exactly what you are it knows exactly what you are capable of and it's using your superpowers against you like it's using the power that you have against you you see by lying to you and manipulating you in so many different ways that is why once you start waking up you realize how stupid you were <laughs> like if you were a christian before you realize how stupid you were like, damn, did I believe that? What the F? But when you see people who are still trapped, who still believe that, you're like, damn, what's wrong with them? But, well, you you were one of them. I mean, I was conscious the whole time, you know, but I kind of believed. But I was asking questions. I know people who were never asking questions, but they woke up. <laughs> you know what I like about people that have had conversations with, like people uh, have had deep conversations with, they, they wake up at some point. Like a person might disagree with me now. Oh, you're wrong, you're wrong. But then they don't realize that I was right. I remember the, uh, when I was debating with this other girl about Christianity, this other guy is a pastor, he's a fake prophet, actually. Yeah. Uh, 
he told him in front of me that you shouldn't listen to this guy he's being used by the devil he's gonna convince you like the devil is using intelligent people like this to convince you this and that so he's gonna make sense and you're gonna be convinced that he's, he's, he's telling the truth like because the truth is is really uh, what the, this system is afraid of the truth so they, they he had to manipulate those girls <laughs> but they were waking up you know, even though they were like, I don't know, I don't think what you're saying is true. But, uh, you know, you could see that they're waking up. I remember I saw a post on Facebook from one of the ladies and um, she was doubting what she's been told. And people didn't like what she posted. So I know that if I'm going to have a conversation with someone about what is actually going on, they'll wake up. Like even if, because people got big egos. So even if they see that, oh, this guy is making a lot of sense, they're not going to like, you know, they're not going to tell me that they think I'm making a lot of sense. But they'll wake up because they will be seeing reality. It's like someone commented um, on the video that I've published last uh, and said, uh, once you wake up, there's no going back. Like once you're shown the truth, there's no going back. So once you speak the truth, you tell someone the truth, there's no going back. There was something that they were not able to see that you made them see. They can't unsee it. <laughs> you understand? They can and see it. That is why some people, when they comment, you see that they are angry, you know, especially religious people. Someone who just, um, it, it seem like they're just defending themselves, actually. They will try to offend me. Yeah, I would believe in God, no matter what. Why are, you, why are you telling me that? You're not even trying to, like, um, disprove what I'm saying. You're just telling me that you will continue to watch. You can see that they're, they're emotional and they are... Like, they see that I told them the truth, but they're not strong enough to handle it yet. I mean, they will be strong enough because they're going to see more truth because they've had me speaking the truth. Like, I've shown them something that they didn't see before. You know, that's waking up. That's how you wake up, actually. You start, once you realize something, you can't unrealize it. You understand? That's, that's waking up. But it's a, it's a process. It doesn't happen overnight. You don't just wake up out of nowhere. Sometimes you just need to have conversations with people and they're going to make you see what you were not seeing. I believe that you won't view reality the same after watching like this video. Like There's no way you still view reality the same. Like I've made you more conscious than you were even if you're gonna say ah benedictina you're wrong you're you're paranoid um you're making this up you can say whatever but you're gonna be more conscious like it's impossible like that's that's actually what i'm trying to achieve with this video is making people more conscious it's not necessarily about making you believe what i'm saying but it's making you think in a way that uh is going to help you wake up, right? So it's not necessarily about making you believe what I'm saying. Even if you say, I don't believe what you're saying, fine. But ain't you waking up? You see? Like, that's the point. It's to wake you up. It's not to, like, make you believe what I'm saying. It's to wake you up. It's to teach you how to think correctly as a conscious being that found itself in a world that it doesn't understand. I'm teaching you how to think. That it doesn't make sense for you to just be like, oh, all of this is real. I must believe in these books that were written um, 5,000 years ago. Blah, blah, blah. Nah, chill. Start thinking like a conscious being. Stop thinking like a robot. Stop allowing this reality to fool you. You need to realize how things actually work. You don't just go like, ah, oh, no, 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 uh, I figured it all out. This is the truth. Why do you think you'll be given the truth? Don't you see how we're being deceived? <laughs> you understand that even in your dreams, you're being deceived. You have a dream and believe that it's real. Why would you believe what this reality is feeding you? Give you the Bible, the Quran. When someone like me is trying to like wake you up, you're like, oh, it's, a, it's written in the Quran that this and that will happen. Like, what? What the hell? What the heck is wrong with you? Stop cutting 
books that were written by people. Start thinking for yourself. Stop believing what this reality is telling you is true. Start thinking for yourself. Like, do the work that is actually necessary. It's not easy to wake up. I know it is not easy to wake up. Um, even for a person who's naturally conscious, it's not easy to wake up. Like, you don't just wake up like that. It takes a lot of work. We call this place a showground when I was young. This is where all the, 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 the primary schools will gather and uh, compete in sport. Different sport. We like being here, but I've realized that this reality has always made things hard for me. It's, um, I would not have money like I, would, I, would, I, I didn't have money to buy things like food you know and you and when you are young you need food like you you want i mean of course you need food even now but i mean what you want the most is food right you want the kind of food that you want you want to be able to afford the kind of food that you want food tastes better when you're young but i didn't have the money just didn't have so i would see other kids buying the kind of food that they wanted and i didn't have the money other kids playing you know that uh, thing what is it called it's timber what is it no it's not a timber that that thing with a fence you can jump on top of it i forgot what it's called I'd, like kids will pay like maybe one rent to, to to jump on that thing you don't have money you just see them and your eyes will be kind of theory because you you want to jump on it reality has done that to be but there was no reason for me to not have that there was no re i had not done anything to not have what i wanted at the time but reality would make sure that oh no no, no you're not getting that you're just going to watch other kids playing and then you're going to suffer while watching other kids playing because that's what it actually wanted I remember being here like you used yesterday, man. I haven't been here. I mean, I was here yesterday, actually. <laughs> I recorded the video that I published yesterday here. But I mean, I'd never like been this side, you know, but it feels like it was yesterday when I was here. And I remember how I used to feel. So this reality is it's just purposely making things hard for people. It's like it didn't give me the money that I needed to kind of, to enjoy, to have like a real, like have a full experience, to just be happy. Like it made sure that I'm broke so that I'll just suffer. You know what I mean? Like it does that on purpose. Like it does that on purpose. You ask money from your parents, but like, we don't have money. Like, but you knew that I... Uh, <laughs> I was gonna be at this place today, but you don't have money. Ah, uh, yeah, we don't have money, this and that. And then you come here and watch other kids eating the kind of food that they wanna eat, just having fun, and you're just there without money. I know how it feels like. I know this reality has always done that. And so when you're suffering as an adult, you're like, oh, but this is... reality has always made sure that I suffer. Like it has always made sure that I suffer. That's what it does. It makes sure that you suffer. It creates situations that make no sense, situations that are going to confuse you, situations um, where you don't get the full experience, right? You don't get the full experience. You go to a place, you don't get the full experience, and, and you suffer because you're not getting the full experience. They've, this reality have always done that. It's so messed up, but it's true. It does that on papers. So... I know how it works. I know it's tricks. You must know how it works too. It's 
so that you uh, keep on waking up. When I was young, I was very unconscious. I'd never like thought this could be like a simulation. I kind of thought it was a dream, but I didn't think deeply enough about this 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 concept of uh, of, of of this being a dream. So it didn't really make sense to look at it that way. <laughs> I like the fact that I'm opening the gate, this gate like um, I was actually supposed to be here. This is government probably. You're not supposed to be here. Just breaking the rules all the time. But yeah, man, it's the truth that's going to save you. It's not the lies that uh, you've been telling yourself. The lies that you've been telling yourself ain't going to save you. It's the truth that's going to save you. You need to realize how this reality actually works so that um, you'll do the work that is necessary to free yourself. It's a hell rim, but we're pretending as if it's not <laughs> we're pretending as if it's not because well there are good things that we are manifesting but this realm itself wasn't supposed to be like these beings that are feeding you this nonsense reality they don't want they can't create good things for you they just leave you alone at some point Right, so you find yourself manifesting what you want to manifest and then they come back when they need more energy and then make you manifest nonsense and then you suffer when manifesting this nonsense and then they leave and when they leave you start to manifest what you want and then they come back because they need more energy. That's all. That's how it works. But you are the one who's actually creating the good things that are actually happening in your own life. But these beings are always going to come back to try their best to manipulate uh, situations so that you'll end up suffering so that you'll end up giving them energy you know that you're an honest person you know that um, you have done enough you know to actually be enjoying your experience instead of suffering all the time this is not about you, you not being able to appreciate what you have don't let any anyone get like you oh you don't appreciate what you have uh, no you know what you want you know how things should be for you to actually enjoy the experience um, but You are going against forces that you don't quite understand. So they, there's going to be suffering because of that. So you need to keep on waking up every day. It's you against reality, basically. So you need to wake up, uh, become more conscious. Um, that's the only way to free yourself. There's, there's no other way. You're not waking up if you, you're not try and wake up like it it's not going to happen automatically because um you kind of stuck here it's not like being in a dream yeah you kind of like stuck so you have to wake yourself up unlike when you are dreaming but even in your dream like if, if, if even in your dreams if you the dream is just too messed up it will be good to realize that you're dreaming and then wake up or become lucid and you become lucid you stop taking it seriously and things stop affecting you the way that they used to affect you because well you don't really care
reality really is like if <clears throat> there were if there were drugs that would actually make you have certain experiences Like these drugs maybe were able to make you go to a place. Every every person who takes the these drugs would actually go to a place when they're tripping. Where certain things will happen in that place. The way you are being controlled in this reality is kind of like that situation. If someone just um, put those drugs in your food and you you have this that the, the experience that they want you to do it's kind of like that but you still have some power you know even when you're giving a psychedelic experience you still have some power You still realize that now something is off. Sometimes you even remember that there is there is a reality that's higher than this. This isn't the real reality. I mean, you think that it's it's there's a reality higher than than the, than the reality you'll be experiencing because, well, you think. There is such thing as base reality. Like there is like a state of consciousness where you are whole, where you can like remember, like where you 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 have like not necessarily remember, but where you are whole. You have power. Like things make sense, but there is no base reality. All reality is an illusion. You just got lost in this illusion. You started identifying with what's happening in the illusion. Like a person who has schizophrenia, who sees things that ain't there and they believe these things are there, they're convinced. Even if other people say, no, these things are not there. Like, no, the things are there. These things are really happening. This reminds me of uh, this movie that I've watched years ago. It's called Beautiful Mind. I think it's starring like Russell Crowe, some like that. Some like yeah, it has to be him. It has to be the guy. It's based on a true story. About this scientist who had schizophrenia. It was very brilliant, but he had schizophrenia. He will work on science projects on himself with um, he will solve math problems by himself, but believing that there are other people that he's solving these problems with. He didn't know that he was crazy until you know they told him, I know. But in the beginning, it was not easy for him to, to realize that he was actually crazy. People had to convince him that, oh no, we are what's real. The people that you're saying that you, you, you're saying were your friends and you work with them, they're not real. On the final scene of the movie, uh, they asked him a question after so uh, becoming very popular. I think he was given an award for solving some math problems, I'm not really sure. But um, they asked him a question because they knew that he suffers from schizophrenia. Or like, hey, um, do you still see those people that you used to see? And he said, yeah. 
I just pretend. I just pretend that they ain't there. And then they show those people walking besides him, looking at him. So you gotta be like that guy. Yes, uh, the problems exist in this realm. Yes, this realm is gonna constantly try to provoke you, try to make you feel the way that it wants you to feel. But pretend as if it's not real because it isn't, right? Pretend as if it is not real because it is not real. Thank you guys.